Huzzah and salutations, everyone. Welcome to the A Waffle Dreamer channel. I'm Waffles, and I hope everyone is having an awesome sauce day. Welcome to one of the most fantastic video games that I have ever played. Honestly, I, I honestly believe, even though I've bragged about loving Fortnite, Halo is one of my ultimate favorites, playing Call of Duty Zombies and stuff, those are all great video games. But Firewatch? Firewatch has to be up there, like, at the very, very tip top. Firewatch was developed in uh, 2016 by Campo Santo in partnership with Panic. Um, it was available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Windows Computer, and then in, the, um, in 2018, it was available for Nintendo Switch. Firewatch is one of those type of games that is like uh, Choose Your Own Adventure. I don't know if you ever read those books um, growing up and stuff. I read every single one of those, starting with The Abominable Snowman, on to, I, I, don't, I don't even remember what the latest one is and stuff, but I have read every single one of those choose-your-own-adventure stories where you read a page and on the bottom you get either two or three choices and there's a page that goes with it. And then you flip to that page throughout the book and you try to find the page and that's where your ending is or the continuing on of your story. Um, you get very different um, ways of how to deal something, and it's just, it was just a fantastic, um, you get to choose. That's why it's called Choose Your Own Adventure. But it's just one of those fantastic things and stuff where you can like, okay, this is the path that I would like to lead on, and you met a dead end. <laughs> but then you can go back and try again, you know, and stuff. And Firewatch is one of those type of games. Firewatch is a mystery set um, in 1989 in the Wyoming wilderness where your only emotional lifeline is the person on the end of a handheld radio. One of the great things about this game, too, is that um, I actually, I kind of knew this, but I actually did not know that this is actual thing in 2024. I knew that way back in the day, they would have these fire watches where in like Wyoming, Montana, um, all the Dakotas and stuff. I think they even have one in uh, Minnesota, but all along the, like the central part of um, America and like towards California area, they have these towers all set up throughout the wilderness um, to watch out for fire. Hence the name Firewatch. Um, because, um, you know, depending on how the weather is during that summer and stuff, you could have uh, very dry spells, um, you know, lightning strikes, you know, a very dry area and stuff, and it could set up a spark, um, could set up, uh, you know, and would have all these fires. And the minute the woods go, boom, you know, it just takes off. So you have these fire watches all set up along this area, so that they could cry, so that they can try and catch them early on, call it in, and the guys, uh, smoke jumpers is another term for the firefighters that take care of the forest fires. Um, the smoke jumpers stuff, they go out there and then they can try and take care of it before it takes out the whole wilderness. So, um, actually, if you go, if you're on TikTok, there's a, and you just search Firewatch that's on there, you'll see a lot of people that will showcase what they do throughout the summer. And it's mostly just the summer because winter, all it is is mostly snow. Not really going to catch a lot of fire with the snow out there. But in the summer months, um, usually from um, May through July, sometimes in August too and stuff, but usually May through July, um, they'll have these towers occupied with people that will either volunteer or I think they also can get paid for this as well. Um, but they go out there, um, and that's what they do throughout those months, is they just keep an eye on the wilderness. Um, they also make sure that, um, people that are out there that are hiking, um, that they will assist the forest rangers. Um, they'll also have, uh, people there that will help out, um, like, if people are being dumb, stupid, or something like that, they call the authorities, hey, you got something going on over here, you need to, you know, you need to take care of it and such. Um, I don't think they have the authority. Um, I mean, they could do like a citizen's arrest, you know, and stuff. That's that's still a thing and stuff. But um, they don't actually have like the authority to like arrest you um, and like throw you in jail and stuff. They can just like hold you there while cops come and, you know, and then, and then they can take care of it. Cops or, or like the forest rangers and such. But it's really neat um, type of a job and stuff. I actually looked into it after playing this game. I actually looked into it. 
And I mean, if there is a point in my life where I'm like, you know what? I need a break from this. I need a break from technology. I need a break from family. I need a break from work, you know, just civil, you know, just civilization. I need a break from it. The, these people would be the first people I would call, you know, like, you know, do you have a tower that I could watch over, <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, and just spend, you know, like three months out of the year, you know, up in this tower, keeping track of everything and just getting back to nature, being grounded, you know, even though you're all the way up in the air and stuff, you know, you're, you can still get grounded by, um, you know, just being out there in the wilderness and stuff. So, um, so it's actually, it's so it is an actual job. That's the whole point of this. It, this is an actual job. And for, uh, Campo, uh, to be able to make it into a video game, like, really seriously this is gonna be a video game this is gonna really hold people's attention you know for long you know for a long time and stuff and you yeah you get to choose your story but seriously you're just up in a tower and everything and you only get to talk to someone on a radio dude the way that they made this game and they also added a mystery into it i mean you're just um your 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 name is Henry in the game and stuff and you're trying to leave a messy life um you know to work as a fire lookout in the Wyoming wilderness and your only lifeline is uh, your handler by the name Delilah on the other end of the radio. You haven't even met her. You don't even know what she looks like. You only talk, you only get to talk to her through the radio, but something, something happens that draws you out of your lookout tower and you go into, you know, the, the wilderness below you and everything and an unknown environment. I, I believe Henry is like mostly in the city and stuff. And so this is like his first time really out in the wilderness. And we get to make interpersonal choices that can build or destroy meaningful, uh, a meaningful relationship that we have. And um, just going based on that, you know, I was like, I was hooked when I was reading the, instri instri the description of this video game. I can't talk today for some reason. So I have my wonderful watermelon Red Bull. And I am actually going to try this for the very first time. Um, I We mostly only have the mocha kind. And mocha, uh, I, it's okay, but not all the time and such. But this one, it looks like it's um, espresso with cream. The Black Rifle Coffee Company. Um, this is the espresso can, but it has whipped cream with it. So we are going to see if those can help me talk. <laughs> um, so it's just, uh, um, this game is just a fantastic, um, different points of view and stuff. Um, you choose how you want the story to go, you know. Are you, um, are you the person that wants to help people? Are you, you know what? I'm just here at the lookout tower, just doing my job. You know, I don't really want to mess with people. Stay away from me. I, d I don't want to deal with things and stuff, you know, or you can just be, you know, like a total, you know, butthead, you know, and not help out in any way, shape or form. You know, you get to choose how you want Henry to be in this storyline. But, um, like I was saying before, I was kind of interested and I was like, okay, seriously, it's a fire lookout. Like, we look through binoculars and, oh my gosh, there's a fire, call it in. That's a video game? Like, how is this going to keep my interest? This video game has kept my interest? I believe this is my fourth time playing this video game. <laughs> so, thank you, thank you very much, Xbox Game Pass, for having this available for us to play. Um, so, if you ever get a chance and you have Game Pass, download Firewatch right now definitely play this. Let's get to gaming, guys. So we're going to set up a new game. Uh, new thing. As you guys can see, I've seen, I've played it so many different times. So I think I've like unloaded it and then loaded it back in and I was totally fine. <laughs> but oh my gosh, this game is like super duper fantastic. Campo Santo, that's what it was called. That's what it's called. I just have to check. There it goes. Sorry sorry for the echo. Sorry for the echo. I had to double check something, make sure things were good. This is Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. 
were the guy in this, so. Oh, I need to click. <laughs> She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. We got some coffee right here, guys. You approach her. You are drunk. So this is where we can choose what type of person is Henry. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. We could be, you know, like, hey, you're pretty. You're pretty, I like you. <laughs> what's gonna happen here? Um, or so, um, trying to be, you know, smart and everything, but we are kind of drunk. So, what you know... Major. What's your major? I think if I was a guy and I was trying to do a pickup line, but I was like super drunk or something. I've never been drunk. I've, I, I don't really drink alcohol and stuff. So, um, I, I don't drink alcohol at all and stuff. So, I'm like, you know, how, how would you act and stuff? I think I would be like, you know, try and be suave, suave but, you know, <laughs> we'll see what happens. So you slur the word major and it smells like coarse. <laughs> you give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Oh, God, she's a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? <laughs> Was that a burn? You ask. She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Score! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> hey, maybe I could do this in real life as a woman. Just go up to a guy and stuff and say, Hey! What's your major? <laughs> Alright, so we are stuck in a closet. No, elevator. Alright, so we are getting a backpack. Oh, by the way, I love the music in this game. I hope my music's off. Yeah, the music in this game is awesome. Ooh, fire extinguisher, mop. What's in here? What do we have? Do we need anything? No. Well, then why is this here? All right, so it looks like that's our truck. You guys know me. I love looking at every single thing because you just you just never know what you might need. You know, and I mean these the the artistry in this, you know, they they put a lot of thought and effort into this game. So, I want to make sure that I see everything that they want me to see. So, apparently we're good. Oh, what's this over here? So let's load our gear up. Load on up to the east side. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. I hope some guy says that about me. Because I'm crazy. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You're, you drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while, while walking this dog. It's badass. So you pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. Or you adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. Well, I'm a guy in, in, this, in this game. I'm a guy... So, I would want to make sure that Julia is protected. If for some reason she's walking by herself and I can't be there, I would want to make sure that she's safe. So, I would definitely get the shepherd and name him Mayhem because seriously, Mayhem is like an awesome sauce name for a dog. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet. All rolled into one. Aww. 
You're so cute. 1979. You talk out on the deck. Apparently we love the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off the high desert. See, this is a great storyline. This is how you tell a story. I love that. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at math. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots. That would be pretty good. One day, why rush? Hmm. Do we really want kids, or are we not that enthusiastic about having kids? Well, me as a gamer, as the player and stuff, I want a kid. Let's, let, let's have a kid. I want to see us having a kid. In that case, we should probably get married. Oh, she hoodwinked. Oh, she got him. Oh, she's good. Yeah, I would like that. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. She knew it. She knew how to get us. Ugh. To be completely honest, guys, this is an awesome sauce truck. Look at this truck. Look how awesome sauce this truck is. And that is an awesome sauce color, too, by the way. Hey, what's this? We get a hat. Cool, why not? Let's let's wear it. Let's wear the hat. Let's be cool. Let's be suave. I just picked it up off the ground, but hey, it's cool. But I love this truck, by the way. That's so cool. Thoroughfare Trailhead. So there's the map of where we're going to be. Do not forget to check in. There are no fireworks. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for experienced hikers. Therefore, is a primitive backcountry trail. My kind of place, baby. That's right. I'm more backwoods than you can ever imagine. <laughs> I don't know where that accent come from. <laughs> 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She should have called. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignore her. I was always told, never ever go to bed angry. Talk it out before you go to bed. So, let's get mad. Let's talk about it. You call her- Well, I wouldn't exactly have called her that! Come on! I mean, I would have gotten mad, but not, you know, like... Called her on it, you know? She tells you to F off and not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. Well, you gotta speak what you gotta speak, you know? 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. We're gonna frolic! <laughs> Come on, men. Come on, men. Tell me in the comments below that you would not frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Come on. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> if you had an opportunity to go like He-Man or frolic like a Victoria's Secret model, you know you would choose a Victoria's Secret model. I know you. I know you. Gosh, look how realistic this game is, though. Look at the look at the shadows. Look at the shadows on this thing. Look at that. The branches are way. Oh my gosh, this game! I tell you, it's actually one of the things that really hooked me into the game. That made me stay with the game all the way through was actually the whole um, the artistry of this game. That you can hear the birds chirping. You can hear the leaves rustling a little bit. I, I, I freaking love this game. Two forks. I swear. When I first saw forks, I, I, I immediately went to Twilight. 
I'm like, oh, good God, we're going to have vampires in this game. <laughs> Two forks look out mile, eight more miles to go. Oh, no, we have a big, huge log here. It's in our way. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There is a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. Oh, God. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh! Mayhem runs away. What? He's supposed to protect Julia! And the freaking dog runs away? She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when it's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his face in. I'm, I'm, I'm beating the crap out of this dude, man. He thinks he's gonna mug me. He thinks he's got that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He, he ain't gonna get me and my woman. Uh-uh. Remind you, I'm a guy in this, in this, uh, scenario here. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. Oh. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. I couldn't help her. I didn't mean to kill him. Oh. Julia takes to a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. You beat the guy to a you beat the guy to a pulp. Protected your woman, and you ball your eyes out. Okay, all right. He's a man in this one. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Well, yeah, it's been, what, four years? Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair, she wants to move. You absolutely do not. Well, we're in Colorado. Colorado is cool. Convince her to not take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Well, I absolutely do not. I mean, it says that cemented in there. The white part is cemented. The um, yellow or orangish uh, color is where we can choose what we want. But it is cemented in. We absolutely do not want to move. So, I mean, I, I, if I'm Henry and stuff, I would definitely want Julia to go off and um, pursue her you know, what she wants and everything. So, but we have a life here in Colorado. You know? I've got a job. I don't know what I do, but I've got a job. You know, and stuff. We've got, we probably have friends. We probably have family here. You know? Leave to do a job that probably won't do well. This is, this is actually really tough. A lot of relationships break up or get divorced for choices like this. You know? Like... The one spouse really wants to follow their dreams. Not entirely sure if it's going to go anywhere, but they really want to follow the dream. The one spouse just like, you know what? We're, we're content here. We're good. We don't need to keep going on, you know? But gosh, commuting back and forth. You know, if you think about it, Colorado is like here. Or it's, this is going to be backwards. Um, Okay. And Connecticut is like all the way over here. You know, Um, no, that's for me. For you guys... <laughs> Colorado is like here and uh Connecticut is oh my god this is so backwards for me so so here it is for you guys and so Connecticut would be right here I'm trying to see it on how you would see you guys know what I'm talking about look it up on Google look up a map on Google you know what you know what on this part we'll be a little selfish we'll be a little selfish and say please please don't take the job you know we were content here you know, you could probably find another associate department chair here, you know, just, I mean, Yale, ugh, ugh. who wants to go to Yale? Yale's so stuffy. Yale is so stuffy. Convince her not to take the job. You tell her that she means you two won't have a family. She says that's bullcrap. Nah, that's totally right, yeah. She asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes, again, bullcrap. But she decides not to take it. Oh, my. 1985. Julia's asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having... Oh, God, she had an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. Well, I would, too. To be completely honest, if someone... If I was doing a report 
and it was important research, and someone just took my books, I'd, I'd lose it. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh. Well, oopsie. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Oh, no. Doesn't matter what type of person I am in the most games. I, I, would, I would always choose to talk about it. Because that's who I am. That's who I am. I would always talk to someone about it. Or we could just ma make macaroni and drink wine and forget about it. <laughs> no, I, I would say I would say we talk to someone about it. That's not her. That's not Julia. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Wow, that's young for dementia. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. They're right, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, journal. Oh, it kind of almost looks like mine. Oh my gosh. Okay, there is uh, some spots to this that... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can... <laughs> I forgot about that part. I don't I didn't remember seeing that part. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Ouch. All those years of trying to do her research and she gets... Oh, gosh. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. She count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24-hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Okay, this is another one that really, really hurts people. Because it's their family. They know what they need. It's their, you know, like, especially if it's, when it's a spouse. You are determined to take care of them. You're, you know, for better or for worse, for sickness or, or in health. You know, um, you want to be able to take care of them the best way that you can. But the thing is, it weighs on you and it changes you forever. Because you're wanting to, you're, in your mind, you still see the person that you married. You know, like in our case, you know, Julian and I got, you know, Julian and Henry got married. And so he's seen Julia as the day that he married her, but she doesn't see that. You know, there are days, you know, you're a complete stranger to her. You scare her, you know, so that, that hurts you way more, you know, than, than anything. So... The toughest decision, but the, you know, in, to, to our case, I guess you would say, you know, the right decision is to, uh, is a full-time care facility to make sure that she is fully taken care of. You know, it's, it's not like, you know, well, I'm just going to throw away, you know, and stuff and forget her. No, we will visit, you know, and stuff, but, you know, we can't be there every single second of the day and she could hurt herself, you know, she could truly, truly hurt herself and we would never ever forgive ourselves if we allowed her to get you know to, to hurt herself so let's take her to a full-time care facility see what see what happens <laughs> look at the grass you people look at the grass it's swaying into the wind dude i i freaking love this game Look at the fog. Look at the fog. 
the fog, people. They made fog in this game, and it's rolling through the hills. They took time. Look at the moss that is growing on this tree. I think that's a birch. I think that's a birchwood tree. That's just that's just beautiful. Oh, we're gonna fall. We're gonna fall. We're gonna fall. <gasps> Dear. <laughs> Do you see his turn his head? I. <laughs> Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, If you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide not to see your old friends that much. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Uh-oh. Months go by. Mayhem dies. Julia doesn't remember her when you tell her. Sometimes it takes a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more. You think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Gosh, this I mean, you can you can argue and stuff and say, "Oh, I would visit them every single every single day, every time that I can, I would visit them." It's hard to really say that unless you're into that when you're put into the actual position of that. It's just, it's just really, 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 really hard to say for certain that you would be able to be there every single day. I mean, it's hard, it's hard to walk in with someone that you truly love. Your heart just pounds extra, you know, for this person and they have no memory of who you are. That, that, that weighs on you, you know, that takes a toll on you, you know. All right, so we got to go to the tower. Where's the tower? I just lost a tower. Where the hell is this tower? Here it is. <laughs> like, how the hell did I lose a tower? It's so tall. It's so tall. Would you look at that moon? Would you all just please take a moment of your time? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at this area right here. Don't look at me. Where's where's my face? Where's my face? There is my face. Don't look at me. Look at that moon. Look at it! It's so pretty. I'm sorry. I am so into video games that um, has amazing graphics into it. Amazing graphics. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at the paint coming off. Of the railing on this. Look at this. Look at this. I feel like that TikTok. Ashley, look at this. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, there's a light. Thoroughfare lookout. Oh, look, propane. I didn't actually need to go back down, but okay. Well, we're really boarded up here, aren't we? Look, oh my gosh, we got a roundabout. Look at this. Beautiful Wyoming. And if you look to your left. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. All right, all right, all right. Where's, where's the door? Where's the door? Here we go, here we go. I found the door. We get to turn on the power. Ooh, look at that. We get light. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Who said that? Hello. Hello. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Radio. 
Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Oh. Oh, there it uh, is. Okay. Hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Hey there, Delilah. What's, What's it like you? in New York Excuse City? Me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. All right, so... We ki you killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Okay. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. We're in. <laughs> oh, a lot of times, too, the responses and stuff, you are timed. So you got to kind of, like, figure out, okay, how do, how do I want to respond as this person? Hold on. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. No, no it's not. It. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? All right, where am I supposed to go? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? There it is. There it is. Fireworks. Woohoo! We oh, see fireworks. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Like, kick the crap out of him? Can I write him a ticket? I'm not really into discipline. Do you think Let's you kick the crap that? out of him. Like, kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. <clears throat> Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Convenient, smart, secure. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> so we're going to be a snarky person here. Um, um, by the way, I would love to have Space Puffs cereal. That just sounds awesome sauce. 
So we got ourselves a water jug. We got a National Forest Guidebook. We got a, we got a cookbook. Dude, dude! That is not a glass cleaner. But look at the old style pencil, um, uh, pencil sharpener. I forgot what I was <laughs> oh my gosh! But this is kind of cool. Do we need our backpack? Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll take it with us. All right, so we gotta go that way. We see that's her lookout right there. Boink. Hey, I can see your tower. Yep, that's me. Hi. All right. So we do have a map. We can zoom in. Boink. So that's where we are. We're at the Two Forks Lookout. She is up here. Thoroughfare Lookout somewhere up there. And so we need to head out to... I think it's the Jonesy Lake is sort of where we saw the fire. Yeah. So we got a map. And we've got a compass. Oh, we're looking for the cash box. Well, no wonder. Three zero six. Okay, we're good to go. We just keep going straight. This is so beautiful. Woo! Hear that? Gosh, that's so cool. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Um, so, by the way, um, in real life, uh, waffles can get lost in the woods <laughs> a lot! Alright, 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 I think we're good. Let's make this hard on us. Let's make this hard on us. We gotta hop here, hop there. Oh, we can run. Oh, we can run! Hey, look! We found it. Found the supply box. Great. One, two, three, four. Hey, cool. So that's the map there. So we're going to copy that information. It's just a little bit of, you know, marks, you know, see where we're at. So we're going to examine. 7786. July 7th, 1986. I'm so smart. Ron. Hey, man. God couldn't take it, so I locked up his lockout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get blanked when I'm back. Dave. Okay. I found a note between a couple okay, of guys. I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. So I just made the decision to eat, um, I have no idea how long that chocolate bar was in, that, um, uh, whatever bar it was, but I was hungry. I mean, come on, you play a whole bunch of different games and stuff, you see food, you're gonna take the food. Well, I can hear it. Can you hear it? Whoop. 
We're stuck. There it is. Making my way downtown. Like, really? Really? Look at all this dryness on out here, and you don't think that, that fo those fireworks are gonna, is gonna cause a problem? Come on. Come on. Let us repel. We've got this. We know what we're doing. We know how to do this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, oh, oh! And we just died. Oh no, we lived. <laughs> well, that was fun. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Yes, ma'am. Oh, look. Uh, hey, there's a tie off point off here just a little way from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. And you actually can. That's one, that's one of the cool things about this game and stuff is that you can just explore. There's cliffs down here or something. Hey, I'm not sure where to look. Hell of a nice camping spot. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here, by the way. It is, actually. Down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Kind of stay out in the open. Oh, I see some stuff. Oh, there's a fire. Oh, there's a campfire. That's not good. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire too. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. There it is. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. Let's kind of clean well, it up a little. Cold on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. kind of clean up that's also another part of our job and stuff is kind of like clean up the forest make sure that it's safe you know um not gonna start any fires or anything like that but also safe you know for the animals they left their packs tied up here don't fuck with them the last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, nope. This, this ain't gonna be good. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? <laughs> <laughs> There's a, uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked women, forget it. I should just head back. There are two naked ladies out here. Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two 
Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your... What is that guy doing over there? Is he sneezing? Hey, guys! Are you sneezing? Hey! He's going to mess with our stuff! Don't go back there, you dick! I don't like this. Can we go? Shit! Full stereo! Cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. This guy's creepy, Chelsea. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, it's my boom box. Can wow. We... Let's just swim to the other side of the lake or something. How far can we go? Can we like go up to them? You're nope. Just It's done. done. Well, that's ominous. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Basically on the first day of the job. <laughs> we had to go take care of some people. <laughs> okay, so technically we actually cannot go back. Because the rope is broken. So. See, we um, found a couple of points here. We can actually head back this way, I think. Because if we keep going straight, that's going to lead us back to the cliff um, where it splits off. But we can't get back there because the rope broke. So... We gotta figure out another way... To get out of here. Two forks, here we go. Probably go through this canyon and we'll be fine. Yeah, just follow the stream. And we should be good. Just taking in the scenery, baby. Wow. Look how realistic. Look at the difference. Look at the sky. to make what is it um look, i was i was drunk last night when i welcomed you to the job yeah well you're not the first boss to be guilty of that i know i just i know i can get a little pushy you know putting you on the spot about uh why you're out here and stuff it's fine i'll i'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh to a minimum hey uh, i can see my tower how do i get back if it's the one I think it is, there should be an old trail the Forest Service closed off a couple years back. And I'm sure their reasons for closing it off had nothing to do with safety, right? Oh, it washed out and became a fucking death trap. So, you know, be careful. That's so great for us. <laughs> eh, we'll just follow the stream. That's usually what they tell you. You get lost. Or, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That was fog. I just walked through fog. They, they keep this so real. Hey, I heard some thunder. 
Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Got hit, hit by lightning when I was nine. I'm not sure if I much. I'm not sure I have yeah, much. I'm not choice. sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. That was Ugh. bad. Mm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. Ugh. What, you're not enjoying our current conversation? Wow. Oh my god, lady. The, the arc of our budding friendship. How exactly are you in charge? Aw, Henry, that's a good one. You satisfied? Yes. See if we can get anything for this part. All right, updated on the map. Any more certain type of um trails and stuff that we might not know? I found a flashlight. There's one in there. Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, oh. you're in luck. Yay! Ooh, and a horn. I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. That's true. Okay. Um. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Hello? I'm adventurous. Let's try it. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. She's got it bad with all the dad jokes on this thing. My goodness. <laughs> oh! There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. <laughs> she is my personality in real life. That's my personality right there. That is so great. I am kind of interested though, you know. Like really what what is what is it what's someone doing out here? Oh, wow. Look at the sunset. <laughs> I mean, we are supposed to investigate everything, so... Hey, you keep your lights on at night? I'm doing a crossword puzzle. I, I do a lot of crossword puzzles. I can't do crossword puzzles. I'm not that smart. 
I can do like puzzle search, you know, find the words. I'm good with that, but So there was two different ways that I could have climbed up. I could have climbed up with those steps and, you know, just a winding, you know, look to it. So there's so many different ways that you can uh, choose your path, you know. You get to get where you want to go. Oh, oh! That wasn't exactly safe. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Nice. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Oh, here's the generator. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. We are so sassy on this game. I love it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. <gasps> Someone just broke in? What? I gotta hit this just right there it is. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone! They stole your sheets? That's just mean! Yeah, it sucks. The place is trashed. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, these are I cool. You can actually read like the titles of the books. It, and now I've got to worry about dude, who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning, I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of hey. everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, Ooh. I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. <laughs> I'm making it worse! But at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. Oh my hat! At least they didn't take it. That was on the first day that we get vandalized. Wake up. Well. Hey, wake up. 
Maybe not. And that is actually where we are going to stop. We uh, kind of went over um, our time limit here and stuff. I'm trying to make it sure that it um, these videos and stuff are a little bit shorter and sweeter and stuff than my other ones. Um, but we will definitely be delving into the life of Henry in the Wyoming wilderness um, as a Firewatch lookout. Um <clears throat> Once again, if you have a chance, you can get it on your Switch, you can get it on your PS4, and you can also get it on your Xbox One. Um, a very, very fantastic game. Um, just a, the one of the choose-your-own-adventures kind of deal. Um, but uh, it's, it, it is funny. Um, it has a good mystery to it and such. And um, just, I mean, I'm... Like I said before, the first time that I played this, I was kind of, you know, seriously, we're just going to be following, you know, the trail and this is a video game and such. I stayed with it basically because of the graphics. The graphics just hooked me in. They were so fantastic and stuff, the way that they did that. And then I got delved in into the mystery that we will be seeing soon. Um, but we, I got delved into the mystery of this and I had to see it all the way through. So this game is fantastic. Hopefully we can do this again um, and stuff. And so I definitely want to see about finishing this storyline for you guys. So true friends never say goodbye to each other. They just take extended leaves from each other. Keep in touch, everybody. Everyone have an awesome sauce time. <laughs>